ladies and gentlemen, an appeal court in New York has determined that Donald Trump must turn over his taxes to the prosecutor. He has lost in court. And we know Donald Trump at this point, Donald Trump is a tax cheat. He is. He cheats on his taxes. And, you know, and one key thing I remember Michael Cohen said was Donald Trump is afraid to go to jail over his taxes. Now, why would you be afraid to go to jail over your taxes unless you were doing something shady? And I believe it. And just looking at his from the election of 2016 when he was campaigning and had to turn in his taxes all the way through his first term, he's done nothing but fight tooth and nail to keep his taxes out of the public view. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. This ain't no privacy thing. This is the criminal things that he's doing on, on the taxes. It has nothing to do with no damn privacy. So this came out on Yahoo News, October 7th, 2020. Appeals court, Trump must turn over taxes to prosecutor. President Donald Trump's accountant must turn over his tax records to the New York state prosecutor. An appeals court ruled Wednesday in a decision that likely sets up a second trip to the U.S. Supreme Court over the issue. The second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan said in a written decision that a stay of a lower court decision will remain in effect. So Trump's lawyer can appeal the ruling to the high court, which we know he will. You know, they'll do anything to try to stall this thing out and keep his taxes from being shown. In August, a district court judge had rejected their renewed effort to invalidate a subpoena that the Office of Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. issued to Trump's accounting firm last year. And you know, here you know what is the sad part? Joe Biden already showed his taxes and so did Kamala. They already showed their taxes. But Donald Trump, nearing the end of his first term, and he hasn't shown a damn thing. But see, I fought Congress and the Senate because when you realize on that campaign trail in 2016, he was not going to turn over his taxes, you should have shut him down. You should have shut Donald Trump down at that point. He should not have been able to continue to go on into the presidency. So now, why should he turn over his taxes? You let him go all this time without showing it. Okay, Vance is seeing more than eight years of the Republican president's personal and corporate tax records, but has disclosed little about what prompted him to request the records. In one recent court filings, Vance lawyers have said he has justified in demanding um, his taxes because of the public records of extensive and protracted criminal conduct at the Trump organization. Exactly. There's criminal activity going on surrounding these taxes. Trump don't want you to see it. A Justice Department spokesperson said the department was reviewing the ruling. The Supreme Court in July ruled 7-2 to two against the president, rejecting Trump's argument that he can't even be investigated, let alone charged with any crime. Why? You're still a U.S. citizen, even if you are president. Yes, you can be charged with a crime. Where is he getting that from? Yes, yeah, he. this is why... He is saying things like he won't leave the White House or if he leave, if he lose the election, he knows what to do. Him and Mitch McConnell got a plan. He's trying to stay in there so he don't possibly go to jail and keep all of these lawsuits off of him. That's not a very good reason to be president. Trump needs to deal with his problems and stop trying to hide behind the Oval Office 
to get away with crime. Okay. While he is in office, so he's saying, while I'm in office, you can't investigate or charge me with a crime, which is false. You know, I even heard that from uh, people in Congress saying that is not true. But the court said Trump can challenge the subpoena on the other grounds, like someone else who receives a subpoena. Okay, well, if, okay, so if he can handle a subpoena like any other citizen, then how is he above the law from being charged? That makes no sense. The likelihood that the taxes would be released was unlikely to be resolved before the November election. Of course it will. How convenient, making it even more convenient for the president, especially since the high court is down to eight justices after the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And any release would not result in immediate public disclosures since the grand jury proceedings are secret. Though his lawyers, Trump argue that the subpoena was issued in bad faith. It might have been politically motivated and amounted to harassment of him, especially since the wording copied the language in congressional subpoenas. The lawyers also maintain that seeking tax records dating back to 2011 is a fishing expedition and the overboard requests should be rejected. In its decision, the Second Circuit disagreed. We hold that none of the president's allegations taken together or separately are sufficient to raise a plausible inference that the subpoena was issued out of malice or intent to harass, the appeals court said. Man, these are just stall tactics. That's all this is. The filing with the Second Circuit, Vance lawyers cited the public reports, including news accounts and congressional testimony by former Trump personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, saying it was common for the Trump organization to submit falsified financial records when the company applied for loans. Yeah. So he was putting down, he was making more money than his organization actually did. He's not the only one. I've heard other people doing that same thing. And in fact, Michael Avenatti is one of those people that um, falsified information on his income and money he was getting from his businesses in order to get a loan from a bank in Mississippi. They do this stuff all the time. But see, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, they don't check behind them. They take their word for it based on nothing but the color of their skin. They take their word for it. If you go up there, before you can submit anything, they're going to reject you. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. They won't loan to us, but they'll loan to a cheat like Donald Trump somebody that's clearly cheating and doing all kinds of illegal activity on his taxes. They'll loan to him. <laughs> Ooh, this place ain't no damn good. Vance lawyers wrote that if Trump and his entities made misstatements about uh, business properties, wherever located, to New York-based business partners, issuers, um, insurers, potential lenders, or tax authorities, those misstatements could establish crimes, including falsifying business records, insurance, and tax fraud, and scheming to defraud. They know what Trump did, y'all. I'm serious. I, they know what Trump has done. It should be enough paper trail to know what he has done. Last month, the New York Times reported that in 
that it ha it obtained um, two decades of tax return data for Trump and hundreds of his companies. It said he paid $750 in federal income tax the year he entered the White House and no income tax at all in 11 of 18 years in review. How the hell did he get by? Never mind. Never mind. Look look at who I'm talking about. At the time, Trump dismissed the report as fake news and maintained that he has paid taxes, but he provide no specifics. No, Trump is a tax criminal. He's doing a lot of tax fraud. There, there's a reason why he's never going to show these taxes. He'll go in a court and fight before he reveals those taxes. And I tend to believe Michael Cohen at this point. I believe Michael Cohen. I believe that Trump has done a lot of illegal things. And, and I do believe what he said, that he is definitely afraid of going to jail over his taxes. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. Oops.